watching it. We have a nice program all laid out for you tonight. But uh, first, before, I have an apology to make to many of you who were watching the show last night. Last night, I told a story about a pancake-related dispute I had with my children over breakfast. <laughs> and then at the end of the story, I said something about Alexa ordering Bisquick. And the reason I'm saying that fast now is because when I said it last night, the A-L-E-X-A in a lot of people's homes ordered Bisquick. <laughs> you know, you can say A-L-E-X-A, order Bisquick, and it will come to your house. And I did that. So as the show was airing last night, we started seeing comments and complaints online. <laughs> like, uh, this, you just set off millions of people's Alexas at almost midnight. Has anybody else had to cancel Bisquick from their Amazon basket? <laughs> Alexa just ordered pancake mix, thanks. Thanks, Jimmy. Now I'm getting Bisquick. You, you're paying for the Bisquick my Alexa just ordered. I yelled, don't listen to Jimmy, LMAO. I got a lot of dudes, too, which is when you know people are annoyed. Dude, please don't mention Alexa in your monologue. You just ordered Bisquick on my Fire tablet. Dude, don't say Alexa commands on TV. The Bisquick has been shipped. Firstly, any idiot can make pancakes from scratch. Secondly, there's, they've sent gluten-effing free pancake dust. WTF, Kimmel. There are a lot of these, and I, so I want to say, I'm um, sorry I did that. But also, I have to admit, it excites me. I've never had power like this before. I really feel... You, can you feel it at all? I feel it, Jimmy. It's coursing through oh my, my veins. Yeah, it's I want to feed it. Oh I want to feed it pancakes. <laughs> now, I know it's almost midnight where most of you are watching, but I have an idea, and I need you to get your phone, okay? So go get it. Oh, it's upstairs? Okay, I'll wait. No, go, go get, the, get the phone. All right, now unlock the phone. Um, we're gonna do this together as a community. So if you have your phone, turn on the camera, set it to video, put it in selfie mode, okay? And try to get your Amazon device in the background of the shot. I wanna see your face. But also, I wanna see your Echo or whatever you have in back of you. I'll give it another second while you do that, all right? Okay, now hit the red button. And here we go. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, play Who Let the Dogs Out by the Baja Men. Okay, now go run and turn it off before it wakes everybody in the house. Or yell at it so you wake everyone in the house. You know, you can't really yell at the Alexa at volume 10. It doesn't hear you. I love this. It's intoxicating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy stock in Bisquick and do this every night. <laughs> this will be my game stock. <laughs> Alexa, buy the Serious Goose by Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Alexa, add to my cart. It's the greatest thing ever. I'm going back on the bestseller list, Guillermo. <laughs> This is one of the uh, few positive things to come from the coronavirus. February is usually the height of the flu season, but with all the masks and the distancing and the not leaving our houses, they say the flu has virtually disappeared. There are almost no reported cases of the flu. So if you got diarrhea this year, you only have yourself to blame for it. <laughs> There's a new COVID variant spreading in New York right now, one with a mutation that may weaken the effectiveness of the vaccines we can't get. And that's just here. There are, are new variants coming from all over the world. In China, you probably heard, they've developed a COVID test that's said to be much more effective when it comes to identifying which strain of COVID you have and when you got it and that kind of stuff. But with this test, instead of your nose, the swab goes into your bottom. And that has resulted now in a diplomatic crisis between nations because some officials at the U.S. State Department claim they were forced to take the anal test as some kind of power move, I guess. But the Chinese government is saying, no, they weren't forced. China claims the tests were given in error, which is quite an error, if it's true. <laughs> it's a real oops right there. But whatever the case, China adopted this rectal test, and it seems to have made an impact. In fact, they've not reported a single new local case of COVID-19 in more than a week. You know what? If our government was doing anal swabs, I'd stay inside, too, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's the answer. Back here in the USA, this is how they're playing it safe in the high school band. This is a school from uh, Wenatchee, Washington. They got the kids playing their instruments in tents. 
Actually, it has nothing to do with COVID. It's to protect them from getting wedgies. It's hard to be in band. <laughs> These tents are all uh, one size. You, you can't, like, you can't put the tuba player in the same tent as the piccolo kid, but... So the principal today was interviewed on the BBC. He sees this as making the best of a bad situation. So how are the students enjoying this novel experience? Well, I, I, I think that they enjoy being back in school. They enjoy playing together as a group. Okay, that's not a group. That's a, a field of porta potties. That's not. And then they played, which is, this is what a school fight song sounds like during a global pandemic. This is the Wenatchee High School GA Band. Take it away. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Eventually, most of the kids ran out of oxygen and passed out, but... You know, we still have no idea when high school kids will get the vaccine. One of the things that has slowed the development is that there's apparently a shortage of monkeys to test the vaccine, which is crazy. In my day, they sold them by the barrel. They... <laughs> and maybe there wouldn't be a shortage of monkeys if they'd listened to the doctor when he said no more jumping on the bed. <laughs> but a scientist named Mark Lewis was described how difficult it is to find monkeys to test vaccines on now, which can you really blame the monkeys? I don't, they're smart. Maybe they're talking to each other. Hey, you know that guy, Mark Lewis? Not that well, why? If he shows up, don't get in his van. Why? It's full of needles. Oh, well, thanks for the heads up. No prob. I'm gonna go hit him with some of my poop. Nice. So, <laughs> So now the question is, how do we dress up like monkeys to get the vaccine? And uh, am I the only one who's a little concerned that monkeys are getting the vaccine before we do? Isn't this how the Planet of the Apes got started? <laughs> there was a major announcement from Mr. Potato headquarters today. Hasbro is dropping the bro. The AP reported Mr. Potato Head is no longer a Mr. Hasbro, the company that makes the potato-shaped plastic toy, is giving the spud a gender-neutral new name, Potato Head. The change will appear on boxes this year. Even in death, they found a way to cancel Don Rickles, and it's very sad. And of course, everyone got upset. Uh, Fox News, they had to call the anchors in from home to come to work for this. But so Hasbro then released their own statement that said, hold that tot, your main spud, Mr. Potato Head, isn't going anywhere. While it was announced today that the Potato Head brand name and logo are dropping the Mr., I am proud to confirm that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head aren't going anywhere and will remain Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. So in other words, I have no idea what's happening. I don't know what the other word. How are they? They are Mr. But it, why are we still putting eyes and lips on potatoes anyway? Isn't this what children did during the depression? <laughs> They're getting rid of the Mr. But they aren't getting rid of Mr. Potato. I don't know. And by the way, Hasbro isn't the only one dumping the Mr. From now on, these uh, popular American products will be known as Salty, Peanut, Rogers, Tea, and Clean. No word yet from Magoo, but we'll see. Boy, when Marjorie Taylor Greene hears about this, potato heads are gonna roll. The front runner for Worst Human of 21 is working to defeat the Equality Act right now. This is a, an act that would ban discrimination against Americans based on sexual orientation or gender identity. And this is Marie Newman. She works across the hall from clan mom. Her daughter happens to be transgender, so she decided to put up a flag outside her office to support her child. And of course, Marjorie could not let this go. She had to respond by putting up a sign outside her office that said there are two genders, male and female. Trust the science. Now she trusts the science. And because that wasn't enough scumbaggery for one day, QAnon Marge had the audacity to say this on the floor of the House. I'd like to point out to my Democrat colleagues that there is no Republican member of Congress that condones the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. I was also a victim in this chamber when it happened, and we are very offended at your constant attacks on us for claiming we had anything to do with it. So that needs to stop. Oh, my God, we got a Karen in Congress now. She's so... <laughs> Awful, just terrible. And by the way, what she said is interesting because yesterday we learned one of her closest friends and allies, 
guy named Anthony Aguero was in the Capitol during the attack January 6th. This is a guy who, when she was banned from Facebook, she appeared on his Facebook account. They're very good friends, but she's offended because she had nothing to do with what happened. <laughs> and not only that, one of her other close friends is the guy who actually planned and incited the riot at the Capitol. This guy. <laughs> there they are, standing right next to each other. They're saying the cost to repair the damage that these rioters did in the Capitol is going to be at least $30 million, which, by the way, was the budget for the movie The Notebook. The way I see it, those rioters robbed us of a sequel to The Notebook. <laughs> Donald Trump's tax returns have officially been handed over to the Manhattan DA. I wonder how many pages of the Cheesecake Factory menu he snuck in there. <laughs> but one of the big things that Trump has to worry about is the way he handled the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels, whether or not he used campaign money to pay for that. This whole thing started with Stormy Daniels. Donald Trump is the only guy who can cheat on his wife and his taxes in the same bed. <laughs> the New York Times says, you know, they already did an expose. They looked at a lot of the information, and they reported that Trump paid no taxes at all for 10 out of the 15 years that he reported because he lost huge amounts of money during those years, which, what's the word for... Someone who loses all the time again. Guillermo, what's the word? Loser. Loser, that's right. That's the one I was looking for. That's loser. The crazy thing is that the part about paying no taxes on millions of dollars, that isn't what he might get busted for. That was probably legal. He could claim huge losses, pay no taxes, and still live like a billionaire. It's what they call orange privilege. It's specific to him. <laughs> And hopefully he'll be in an orange jumpsuit very soon, too. All right, are you ready for some bleeps? It's Thursday night. That means it's time to bleep and blur the big TV moments of the week. It is this week in Unnecessary Censorship. The koala in Australia has received the world's first prosthetic <laughs> Triumph became a whole new koala once the was attached in January. We used to spend more time together. We used to more in Monaco. You're not calling me anymore last few years. Why is it that I should end up going to prison for another man's dirty d Well, we know what Matt's been doing. <laughs> yeah, your daughter. Um, Dan, I've been begging for you to come on my all week. Have you watched Britney? No. Derek. I haven't seen anything in a while, but I do have a long Are you good at the art of the blow d no, I'm actually really not. So let me ask you, uh, Mr. Anzalone, show me your co- Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Please yourself and each other. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.